29. The Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community Presents The Mini Biography of Melania Trump First Lady Melania Trump is the better half of Donald Trump, the 45th President of the United States. Who is Melania Trump? First Lady Melania Trump is a former design and the third better half of U.S. President, real estate billionaire and former Truth Television star Donald Trump. Early Life Melania was born Melania Naves, Germanized to Melania Naus on April 26, 1970, in Novo Mesto, Slovenia, then part of communist Yugoslavia. Her daddy was a car dealership and her mother was a designer for kids' clothes. She matured in a modest home with her more youthful sister and later discovered she had an older half-sibling, whom her daddy had from a previous relationship. Modeling career, Melania started modeling at age 16, and two years later on she signed on with a firm in Milan. She enrolled at the University of Ljubljana however left after one year to pursue her modeling career. In her early days of modeling, Melania operated in Milan and Paris, before relocating to New York in 1996. There she acquired stable work, working with popular photographers like Patrick Demarchelier and Helmut Newton, and landing covers on publications such as Harper's Bazaar, Bulgaria, Vanity Fair, Italy GQ, for which she positioned nude in January 2000, and the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue. Marriage to Donald Trump, Melania fulfilled her future spouse Donald at a New York-style party in 1998. Although she first declined to date him, the couple ultimately began developing a relationship and were engaged in 2004. The list below year they wed in a luxurious Palm Beach, Florida, event, with star guests including Shaquille O'Neal, Barbara Walters, Kelly Ripa, Matt Lauer, Katie Couric, previous President Bill Clinton and then New York Senator Hillary Clinton. In 2006, Trump gave birth to Baron William Trump. Their kid is spouse Donald's fifth kid. That exact same year she also ended up being a U.S. resident. Governmental campaign trail. When Donald announced his objectives to make a 2016 presidential bid for the White House, the typically personal Melania was pushed into the nationwide spotlight along with her past modeling work, a few of which was considered racy. One of the first controversial images that began distributing online was her 2000 British GQ spread that had her lying naked on a fur blanket. The controversy didn't stop there. In July 2016, Melania gave a speech at the Republican National Convention, from which some passages were discovered to be identical to Michelle Obama's 2008 Democratic National Convention speech. Initially claiming she composed the speech, Trump was berated by the media and the public for plagiarism. Soon afterwards, Trump staff writer Meredith McIver took responsibility for the gaffe, claiming she unintentionally consisted of part of Obama's speech and Trump's talking points. McIver issued the following statement describing what transpired. In working with Melania on her current very first girl speech, we went over lots of people who inspired her and messages she wished to show the American individuals. A person she has constantly liked is Michelle Obama. Over the phone, she read me some passages from Mrs. Obama's speech as examples. I composed them down and later consisted of a few of the phrasing in the draft that ultimately ended up being the final speech. Not long after, more controversy followed. On July 30, 2016, the New York Post published naked photos of a then 25-year-old Melania, including one in which she lay in bed with another woman. Much of the pictures were released for a guise as French publication that is no longer in blood circulation. Going over the naked photos, Donald informed the Post, Melania was one of the most successful designs and she did many picture shoots, consisting of for covers and significant publications. This was a picture taken for a European magazine prior to my knowing Melania. In Europe, pictures like this are very trendy and typical. In November, Melania provided an uncommon speech on the project path detailing how fighting cyberbullying would be a top priority for her if she were to become first girl. We need to teach our youth American worths, kindness, sincerity, regard, compassion, charity, understanding, cooperation, she said. News outlets were quick to explain the paradox that her husband was understood for his use of the social media platform Twitter to insult opponents. First Lady On November 8, 2016, Donald won most of electoral college votes and was elected the 45th President of the United States in a spectacular defeat of Hillary. With her husband's triumph, Melania ended up being the very first foreign-born U.S. very first girl because Louisa Adams, John Quincy Adams' wife, who was born in London. As Donald got ready for his shift to power, he informed press reporters that Melania and their boy Barron would remain in New York City while he moved into the White House, permitting Barron to end up the year at his private school on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. In June 2017, Melania and Barron finally signed up with the President in the White House. An early attempt to utilize the first woman platform for public excellence generated attention for the wrong factors, 
In September, Melania sent a bundle of Dr. Seuss books to one deserving school in each state as part of National Read a Book Day. However, the present was spurned by a Massachusetts elementary school librarian, who decried both the selection of her school and the option of Dr. Seuss as a tired and worn ambassador for kids' literature. The first woman wanted to attain better results through her passion for combating bullying. In October, she made a surprise visit with Education Secretary Betsy DeVos to Orchard Lake Middle School in Michigan, as part of the hashtag No One Eats Alone initiative. I always think that you require to treat each other with regard, and kindness and compassion," she informed the trainees. The following month, the secretive very first girl was profiled in Vanity Fair. According to the short article, it was Melania who pushed a waffling Donald into announcing his candidacy for president, knowing that he would regret the missed opportunity if he didn't. On the other side, she allegedly never ever expected to find herself in the White House. This isn't something she wanted and it isn't something he ever believed he'd win, said one longtime good friend of the couple. She didn't desire this come hell or high water. I don't think she thought it was going to happen. Whether she ever planned to reside in the White House, the very first girl went full scale for her very first holiday season as a resident there. She publicly exposed her Christmas designs on November 27, 2017, showcasing her balsam fir trees curtained with icicles and cut with glass accessories and blazoned with the seal of each state and territory. The display supposedly came together with the assistance of 150 volunteers from 29 states. The President, Barron, and I are very delighted for our very first Christmas in the White House, Melania stated in a statement. As with lots of households across the nation, vacation traditions are really crucial to us. I hope when going to the People's House this year, visitors will get a sense of being home for the holidays. Policy Focus and Controversies In January 2018, Melania employed 27-year-old Reagan Thompson, previously an executive assistant on the National Security Council and advisor to Congressman turned CIA Director Mike Pompeo, to serve as her policy director. A spokesperson stated the brand new hire would assist prepare and present the first girl's official platform in the coming months. The move came quickly after the publication of the explosive book Fire and Fury, inside the Trump White House, which explained Melania as an unwilling participant in her partner's project who broke down in tears the night he was chosen. The very first woman was apparently outraged by that account and instructed her personnel to push back versus the book's claims. More debate soon appeared with a report that Donald had actually been included with an adult film star years earlier, with the starlet allegedly paid to keep peaceful prior to the 2016 election. The very first woman consequently cancelled a trip to attend the World Economic Forum in Switzerland with her other half and kept a low profile for several days, triggering speculation of a rift between the two. Her representative eventually started a conversation by slamming the salacious and flat-out incorrect reporting on Twitter, and Melania followed by verifying that she would go to the President's State of the Union address on January 30th. Be Best On May 7, 2018, Melania unveiled her platform, Be Best, with a focus on three crucial goals, wellness, combating opioid abuse and positivity on social networks. As a mom and his very first woman, it concerns me that in today's fast-paced and ever-connected world, children can be less prepared to express or handle their feelings and often turn to types of devastating or addicting behavior such as bullying, drug dependency and even suicide," she said. I feel highly that as grown-ups we can and must be best at educating our children about the importance of a healthy and balanced life. While Be Best's progress was slowed by the departure of the East Wing's policy director in July, Melania circled back to the effort and spoke at an August 20 conference about preventing cyberbullying. When critics asked how she might attend to the matter with a straight face on the very same early morning her husband blasted unique counsel Robert Mueller and former CIA director John Brennan on Twitter, a spokesperson stated the first girl was familiar with the criticism, but it will not discourage her from doing what she feels is right. Border Enforcement In June 2018, the first girl waited on the controversial issue of children being separated from their moms and dads after illegally crossing the Mexican border. Although her hubby had blamed Democrats for a law that apparently mandated such actions, it was part of Attorney General Jeff Sessions' zero-tolerance policy towards avoiding prohibited entry into the nation. Mrs. Trump dislikes to see kids separated from their households and hopes both sides of the outcome lastly come together to accomplish effective migration reform, she stated in a declaration through her spokesperson, Stephanie Grisham. She believes we need to be a nation that follows all laws, however likewise a nation that governs with heart. A few days later on, Melania made an unannounced visit to Upbring New Hope Children's Shelter in McAllen, Texas, to visit the facility and consult with kids and staff. Nevertheless, the sea itself was eclipsed by her choice to wear a jacket emblazoned with the message I really don't care. Prior to leaving and once again after going back to Andrews Air Force Base. 
her spokesperson downplayed the significance of the jacket, firmly insisting there was no hidden message. However the president said it was directed at the phony news media, tweeting, Melania has found out how dishonest they are, and she really no longer cares. Health scares. On May 14, 2018, Melania went through kidney surgical treatment at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center near Washington, D.C. Melania Trump underwent an embolization procedure to treat a benign kidney issue. She will likely remain there throughout of the week, her workplace stated in a declaration. The very first girl eagerly anticipates a full recovery so she can continue her deal with behalf of kids everywhere. Although she was out of the hospital after five days, the very first woman continued to lie low in the following weeks, triggering more issue about her wellness. In early June, her representative said that Trump would not be joining her other half at the G7 summit in Quebec that week and there were no plans for her to take a trip to Singapore to meet North Korean leader Kim Jong-un later on in the month. On October 2, 2020, President Trump exposed that he and wife Melania had actually both tested favorable for COVID-19. Kid Barron was also checked and initially evaluated unfavorable, however it was exposed weeks later that a second test returned positive. Migration Issues In early 2018, with the administration aiming to revamp the nation's immigration laws, Melania's earlier actions as an immigrant looking for to live and work in the United States came under analysis. She had been given a green card for permanent residency in March 2001 through the EB-1 program, nicknamed the Einstein visa due to its allotment to top academics, magnate, Oscar-winning stars and others who demonstrate amazing ability. Some critics questioned whether she was deserving of that classification, though others suggested she easily qualified for EB-1 approval. In August 2018, it was reported that Melania's moms and dads, Victor and Amalaja, had actually been approved U.S. citizenship. It was also exposed that the first woman had sponsored them for their green cards, a process at chances with the president's proposition of a merit-based system that sought to suppress sponsorship for relative. In December 2019, Melania was the subject of an unapproved bio, Free, Melania, by CNN White House reporter Kate Bennett. The book explored the very first girl's relationships with her other half and stepdaughter Ivanka, and supplied insight into some of her headline-grabbing moments, like her Obama-inspired speech at the 2016 Republican National Convention. In early 2020, as the president tried to guide the country through the major health crisis of the coronavirus breakout, the very first girl offered her two cents by advising making use of face masks and providing ideas for household activities by means of Twitter. In April, she invited Grisham back to her staff following the latter's nine-month tenure as White House press secretary. Other projects In 2010, Melania launched a fashion jewelry line, along with a skincare line. She has actually appeared in an AppLife commercial, co-hosted on The View and appeared on her husband's truth show, Celebrity Apprentice. Multilingual Trump is said to be fluent in the Slovenian, English, French, Serbian and German languages, with other outlets reporting that she speaks Italian, also.